Hi guys, Holly from Speedy's Peach, and today I have a thrift haul for you. I know I wore this sweatshirt in my last thrift haul, which was a month ago. I didn't realize that it's been so long. Uh, I was looking back at my videos and I was like, oh, a month already? <laughs> so yeah, I was totally gonna wear a blouse. I put the blouse on, had the blouse on, was like ready to film with the blouse on, and then I was like, it's not happening, everybody. It's not happening. I like really haven't been thrifting um lately at all so that's like partially why there hasn't been a haul um but i do have some good stuff so might as well get into it i don't think i've shown these if i have i'm sorry i know i've shown them they were in my la outfit diary um it's just these pair of cute little matrixy sunglasses i think they're really cute I got them for really cheap and um, I want to look like a nice Instagram gal in these so that's why I bought them. <laughs> While we're just talking about accessories, I'll show the pair of shoes I have in this haul. I don't, like I said, I don't think I've shown these in a thrift haul. I had filmed a thrift haul before I left for LA a couple weeks ago um, and then I never filmed the try on of it and then I got more stuff so I was like, oh, it's kind of silly to film that part. So. Um, I don't think I've shown these, but these were like my birthday gift to myself, and they're these little Nine West heels. They're iconic. I got them on eBay, like new, but these bitches gave me the worst blister of my entire life. I had literally been wearing them um, for like five minutes to get an Instagram picture when I was in LA. It's on my Instagram if you want to go see the worst blister, and I've gotten really, really bad blisters before. I've had my fair share. So it's just something to do with like this strap in here. So I think I might add like, um, I have like things that are supposed to go on like the back of heels to help with blisters. Um, and I might add that in there and hope that they work because they're really cute. And honestly, like they were pretty comfortable to walk in cause they're kind of like a mule. So yeah, these are like everything. They're super trendy, nice, but they gave me a blister. So we'll have to see how those go. <gasps> oh my God, I could not believe I have finally done it, everybody. I finally found my first real vintage champion reverse weave crew neck. I've never found one at the thrift. I had a reverse weave hoodie um, that I got on eBay and that was like newer, but this is really vintage. And I have, well, I should say, I do have another reverse weave, but uh, it's not like champion branded. This is Washington State. I've showed it in another thrift haul. And it's black and it's so perfect. The tag unfortunately was cut out. I don't know why people really do that. I don't ever cut out tags unless it's like underwear or something because it might be uncomfortable. But um, yeah, I got this. I went on the 50% off day on Wednesday, the family day. And uh, was I saw just a little arm and I was like, oh, it's definitely not what I think it is. Cause like it's a really busy day and like the sweatshirts are like the first thing you see. So like I am guessing it's someone's already I don't know what I'm saying. But anyways, I didn't expect to see it. And it's like perfect. I think there's just a tiny little bleach mark. Just, you, can, you can't even really see it. But um, yeah, it's like literally the most perfect thing ever. Um, and I've worn it like so much since I've gotten it. And because I've recently dyed my hair brown, I actually really like, like how this looks. With a nice little tan. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy about it. And for all the people out there that are like, oh my god, your thrift store is the best, like you always find things so easily. Even thrifters like myself, it takes years sometimes to find the perfect thing. So now that I have my nice reverse weave crew neck, I can sleep peacefully at night. Even though I was sleeping perfectly fine before. I'll show the other champion item I have. This was on a completely different trip. And this one isn't as exciting, I will be honest. Um, it's just a plain champion like way darker gray than I typically gravitate for but I was just like feeling the vibe I don't know and then it has champion uh, I'm not embroidered but it's like a felt stamp on it I actually come across another really similar champion crew neck to this but it was like a nude color and I, I passed it on to my boyfriend um and then it's just a little c on there but yeah, this is just more, this is less like of a really cool find, but I still really, really like it and it's really cozy and warm. It's like, mm, you can just like, oh, just by looking at that, you can tell how cozy it is. Um, but yeah, I really like crew necks clearly as I'm wearing one right now. And um, even though it's 
spring in Massachusetts it has been like kind of warm but anything below like 70 degrees to me isn't that warm so I'll continue to wear my crew necks for a while a lot longer now <laughs> New black pink! New black pink has got me feeling a vibe today. Yeah. This has been like such a favorite of mine since I got it. And I actually got this on my birthday. Holy crap, that's how long ago it was. Oh my god. Um, but it is just this puffy vest. Like it's not super puffy and it's just like a really nice dark um Creamy, like gray. It has just one pocket there. I love the silver zipper. I love how it just like pops. And um, yeah, it's perfect. I really like how it's like kind of like utility type tactical wear. I'm all for that vibe. And um, I don't actually own a vest, so I'm happy I have one now. Um, like I said, it, like hasn't been that warm. So the other day I wore this with the champion crew neck and a pair of um, suit pants, why can't I think of the word? Trousers. I wore a pair of trousers and it looked really, really cool. So, um, yeah, it just fits into like that tactical hype beast type vibe and it was like $2. So can't beat that. Quite literally switching gears, uh, entirely. I have this silky satiny, um, skirt. It's just this dark eggplant color. Actually, no, I think it's just like pretty much eggplant. Um, and I've been looking for a skirt like this for so long. I know that like they're on everyone's like list as of the moment. It's such a spring trend right now of like the silk skirts. Um, yeah, this one's like pretty long. It hits like the middle of my calf, I wanna say maybe a little bit longer. And it is dry clean only. And I'll be honest, I'm, I don't like to dry clean things. Uh, I'm just lazy and I wanna be able to wear it like that instant. So I unfortunately put it in the uh, washing machine and it shrunk it just a little. Um, this is the slip that goes underneath it. So I think I'm gonna, tr I haven't actually tried it on. I'll be honest. Um, but I'm gonna try it on, see if I like the length, the new length that it is now. And then I'm just gonna cut the slip on the inside so it's a little bit shorter. Um, or I heard that you can soak like shrunken, uh, cause this is rayon and acetate. I heard you can, uh, put that in like baby shampoo or conditioner and it'll relax the fibers to, um, go back to the original length. But yeah, I'm super happy about it. It was like relatively kind of expensive. I think it was like $6. Um, but it is something I've been looking for for a really long time. And I actually do like the purple. Um, I think that I typically would get like a white or a black. So the thrift store is trying to force me now to get out of my comfort zone. And of course it's Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor is such a go-to at the thrift. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this. I don't have much stuff left. So I'm just gonna show you the jeans that I have and then I'll show you the rest of the skirts that I have, which I know is like shocking me buying skirts. I'm trying to get more into skirts as I've been saying for the past like year and a half, two years. So I've just been trying to find some good ones, but I have two pairs of Levi's and this first pair, come on. <laughs> it's this dark wash um, pair of 512s. And I think that they're, vintage the patch looks pretty vintage to me so that's the only reason why I'm guessing that but it's a 29 x 30 um and yeah they're just a dark wash oh it's made in Canada so I think it is uh pretty vintage and yeah they're just dark wash like looks like they've never even been worn so I'm not much of a dark wash gal but um, I think with the, my dark hair, I think it'll look really good. So I'm trying to get into it. I'm realizing the school bus is probably gonna be pulling up in front of my window in about 10 minutes. So let's hope I can finish in time. So all the high school and middle school or whatever school bus that, whoever the kids on the school bus are will not see me and like be like, why is that woman talking to her camera? So yeah, love these and I think they'll fit very well. I found these Levi's and I'm pretty sure that they are too small. I have, I have gained a little bit of weight around my waist and my stomach. So maybe if I try hard to get on track with like my eating, 
um, I will be able to squeeze into them, but I haven't tried them on, but just looking at it, I'm like questionable. But if they are too small, I'm just gonna post them on my Depop. Um, that's usually what I always do. I'm not a professional seller. I just like to sell things that I picked up and I don't actually like or things I need to get rid of in my closet. But these are a pair of 550 students. Um, there are 28, 28, so it's a great length, but the waist I think is a little small. Oh, I think those are too small. And they're orange tag or orange tab. Um, but yeah, they're just a really nice um, lighter to like medium wash. Oh yeah, I think that is just gonna be a little bit too small. That's so sad. Um, and then, yeah, so if you are interested in these, just keep a lookout on my Depop because they probably will be up there. Um, and they might be shipped with tears because I'm so sad that they don't fit me. This next thing is a skirt and I thought it could look kind of, could be kind of into the trend of like the longer skirts. It's not satin, but it's more of like a linen and it's just like a nice kind of cream yellow color and it's pleated. I just don't know about the pleated. I don't know how I feel about that vibe. But I thought it was really cute regardless. I could always um, hem it. My mom would probably enlist her to do that. Well, I might do that. That could be so cute, like a little tennis skirt. Um, so yeah, I have this other satin skirt and this is from The Gap and it is black, but it's not very long. I think it'll probably just like go down to my knees, but I thought it would be just like a cute little sum sum. I thought it would be cute with that little white um, ribbed crop I've been wearing a ton on my Instagram. I thought it could be so cute. If I say it was from The Gap, it was from The Gap, but um, yeah, it's just pretty basic. And then last thing does have some of my hair and my cat hair on it. She's actually, she's been right behind me this whole time. Surprise! Surprise cat appearance. <laughs> But yeah, this is a little skirt from Lace Suit, and it is actually what? It's polyester, but it kind of gives off that little sheeny type vibe. Oh my god, there's so much air! But I think this is like kind of that longer midi length, and I kind of like how it's like a kind of cooler white, if that makes sense. But yeah, I thought it could just look really cute this summer, so yeah, keep an eye out for that. Although I'm actually kind of worried that it's going to look like, like an old school nurse's skirt. So actually, I need to consider this stuff more. Hey guys, it's a later date and I know I was like ending the video saying that I was waiting for a pair of 701s to come in the mail. Well, they did. And then I also, I forgot I needed to include another item in this haul. So I'm... So yeah, off eBay, I picked up this pair of 701s. They're student fit 31 waist, 32 length. So student fit are usually tighter. I don't know why that they do that. There's like a little rip right there and they're just like light wash. Um, there's yellowing on the jeans. So if anyone has tips on like how to get rid of yellowing in vintage denim, please let me know. But even though these are labeled as a 701, they're not high waisted. So. I'm guessing by the time that these were made, they had changed the like rise of the jeans, but yeah, they're not high waisted. So I, pr I pretty much just have another 501. So now I have two 501s that are like this light wash. Um, so I might could just make these into shorts or something. I bet someone's gonna have a problem with that. Um, but I'm not sure. I have to think about it. They're really they're like a thicker denim, made in the U.S., so they're vintage. Um, but yeah, so kind of a let down on high waisted. I was really excited to have like a super light wash high waisted 701, but it happens. And this next thing I got like so long ago and I just haven't shared it because it was at the dry cleaners when I was filming the haul. And then I just haven't filmed the haul in a really long time. And this does like shed fur like crazy. It is this faux fur, um, like bomber style jacket it's nice and cream uh it's like beautiful it's like satin lining it's by the brand j percy for marvin richards i have no idea what that is oh my god this is making my nose so itchy because it sheds fur but yeah it's really cool it reminds me of like cameron like 
that picture of him that like everyone knows you know in the pink like killer cam so it's like very like early 2000s type vibe jacket for me um oh my god it's making so much fur that's my problem is that, that it just sheds like crazy um and it is like a really heavy warm jacket so i don't know when the next time i'll be able to wear it is because it's now pretty warm in massachusetts but that's everything so see ya <laughs> Yeah, that's everything. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and follow me on Instagram and Depop, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.